Kurwa, to jest tam, gdzie robię projekt teraz.
50 rules and years. Sometimes I make buildings in Barcelona and it never remains to me 50,000 euros. No? So really, uh, competitions in France, if you are able to go to the second round no, and you are in the final four, normally they are very, very well paid. No? For me, this competition was very important because it was a competition to construct more than 2,000 dwellings. No? And uh, these 2,000 dwellings we, we share with three teams, uh, teams, no? One very well known, another young, another local people, and uh, the rules of the competition says that there is, uh, it was mandatory to have a foreign architect, no? And this team looked for me because I'm registered like a French architect and I speak French much, much better than English, no? Because French people used to say that uh, people, they speak three languages, they are three, uh, three languages, a people that speak two languages is a bilingue, and a people that speak one language is a French. We speak French, <laughs> it's much more easy uh, to connect with them because que vous parlez bien français, et avec ça, tout c'est magnifique. Ça passe très bien, toujours, no? And so we made this competition with these guys. It was a, a huge complex in the very middle of Lyon, in the center, no? But the things I'm very happy that finally we divide the, we divide the different models, uh, and we project four blocks of housing. This is one, this is another one, this is another one, and this is the fourth one, no? And for me, it was very interesting that the teacher of uh, one of these French uh, people, that we, we were together in the same team, when he saw, when he saw our plans and with the, the distribution of the apartments, uh, he says that this is really an architect, no? Uh, and for me, it was a, Complete. It was a very nice thing to realize that for a very well-known French architect, looking at my plans, he says, this is really an architect, not you, no, to, <laughs> to hire a student, no? And uh, it was funny because really uh, working with Coderc, I learned a lot of things, how to organize all these things uh, and make new buildings, no? That was the images of the competition, no? That was another competition we won but it was a competition that finally we didn't construct because it was in Russia. And in Russia, when we, after winning the competition, the ruble, uh, the Russian money lost the 40% of value, no? So finally the developer decides not to do the, the thing, no? But it was quite funny because in this area, in front of the river, in a, in a place called Chelabinsk, we propose to construct these blocks using all the things we learned uh, in the lost competitions before. And of course, we, we this is a little Soviet, no? Uh, it was quite funny because I always try to look at references from uh, Melnikov to the suprematism, uh, from all these fantastic uh, Soviet architects of the 20s, no? And it was quite funny because the Russian people, they say, no, no, this Soviet is past time. We are now Europeans. We are Europeans. We are not Soviets, no? Okay. For me, it was quite funny, no? Because uh, uh, I learned a lot, a lot of Soviet period, but not probably about the, the actual period in Russia that they construct quite bad. They construct with, uh, they love gold, like uh, some, uh, uh, peoples in Arab countries, sometimes they are very complicated because they want to show how rich they become, no? And I think architecture is always a, a, a matter of order, a mental order, much more than the richness of materials, no? This is a park we, we project for the surroundings of Barcelona. It was a complex uh, offices, no? And it was uh, seven different buildings with seven different positions, no? But I mean, all these big, uh, all these big competitions we lost, or uh, feasibility studios, finally, you learn a lot about your own work, no? I remember in uh, 20 years ago, I was invited to go to Brazil to construct uh, housing towers, no? And he wanted to construct uh, towers, uh, dancing towers, no? Dancing towers that uh, dance samba, no? I, because I imagine Brazil uh, dancing samba, it would be quite funny, no? And we proposed to the, the to the Brazilian developer in Goiania to construct this uh, apartment with terraces 
that they, they will be protect they will be protect with this kind of uh, metal grids no which of course they incorporate uh, uh, vegetation so after when i saw some of the projects in milano uh, for the Campo Fiera, the food alimentation, no? And I see some of the ideas we project 10 years before, but we don't construct them. You say, shit, it's, it's, a, it's a pity because uh, uh, now uh, if I if I construct, finally they will say, ah, they copy other people, no? But this project, they have uh, 20, 25 years old, no? And I think they are quite, uh, nice, quite interesting when you see from outside, no? Or the one we... Uh, a feasibility study we make in Istanbul, very close to the magnificent uh, Suleymaniye Mosque, uh, where we try to understand the ancient uh, the ancient boats, uh, Turkish boats, no, and we construct all these complex of housing apartments and the offices people and the office building for the developer, no. This is not anymore a physical model, but 3D models, no? With this kind of uh, papillon, uh, a kind of uh, a butterfly building, no? With the towers in the other side, no? This is, that was for the offices and that was for the, for the housing in the other side, no? But of course, most of these ideas of the double skin that we try in, uh, in Brazil, finally we construct in Barcelona. Because in Barcelona, one of our clients uh, make us a commission to construct a, 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 a renewable of a building of 11,000 square meters. That was like the building was before. And at that moment, I was working in the office with uh, massive glass walls because I, I like to investigate always uh, to make research in materials. No, So the client was really in love of the effect of these uh, massive blocks this block is more than one tone and a half by lineal meter. So it is a very, very heavy facade you can imagine, no? With this massive uh, element, no? So we we make a design, we make a design trying to incorporate this kind of massive oh, wow. uh, uh, glass wall. This is the 3Ds we make, and this is the building construct. This is, I think, is one of the most beautiful buildings you can see in Barcelona because it has been published in a lot of magazines in, in many places. Uh, televisions for many countries came to Barcelona to analyze the future of architecture in Barcelona and always they interview me after making this building, no? So you, you can see here by day, by night, the idea is to construct a solid geoda with um, this kind of lead lines that is a kind like the like the veins, the veins with the blood, the blood, because this is a, an alive mineral building, no? So you can see here, uh, I think it's very elegant and very quiet, no? And by night, when all the quarter there is uh, dark, it, it becomes a kind of lighthouse, no? It uh, illuminates all the area, no? Some of the interior images, no? Another competition we lost in Torre la Vega, but that is important for me because I want to introduce you the five item that is the central voids, no? Very often we make uh, voids surrounding central voids buildings, no? We lose in this place. Uh, now we are constructing a triangular building uh, uh, surrounding another void. This is, a, this is a building that has no columns is five, 5,000 square meters in five different levels. And uh, there is a headquarters of a center of design of toys for kids. And uh, they wanted to make a very funny building with no columns and everything is hung for, from, the, from the roof. So it's very curious because uh, you can see here the images from outside of the 3D and images of the building under construction, no? With the, with the concrete slabs. And some images of the, of the concrete blocks, no? In two months, we will have fi completely finished the, the, the concrete facades, no? And we will start to construct the, 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 the main roof, no? 
This idea of central voids uh, is even in another new villa. This is a project we made one month ago for a good friend of us, no? Uh, he wants to construct a villa of 600 square meters. 600 square meters for just four people, I say, I think it's a little too much square meters, no? Because uh, the idea at that moment we proposed it was to construct three little boxes inside the, the big box, one for the parents and another one uh, for one daughter and another one for another daughter. You can see here the models, the models with the mm -hmm. the swimming pool that it would be in the terrace, mm -hmm. the swimming pool, one of the walls that is glass, so you can see people uh, swimming from the living room that is a, a three high, triple high space inside, no? see here these elements no so this is the parking lot with the magazines with the home cinema uh, with the celery uh, for the wines and all these things this is the living room with the with a piece for the for the guests people they came and this is the the bedrooms area one for the parents the one daughter another daughter but the daughters they have different staircases so because i was son and i remember when i was son sometimes i arrived a little drink at home no so um, at that moment they can go through the 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 staircase directly and they don't they don't need to use the central staircase of the house so at the morning when the mommy says at what time do you arrive at home no you can say very early mommy very early no so because they have a, a private a private staircase to go to his her private apartment mm -hmm. no so all these places, they are open spaces. You can see here, sometimes you have three levels or two levels. Here is uh, the hanging swimming pool. And these three levels high in every place, no? And this is some of the images you can see of the, of the house, no? <coughs> we hope in one year we will start constructing this, this house. This is the three three stories high uh, void in the ceiling uh, in the living area, no, of the house, no. This is another feasibility study we we'll, we we'll lose, no. The idea was to construct an articulate building uh, for two uh, offices building. In fact, one building was this area in the ground floor and this first floor and the other one was this area and with the elevators you arrive to the second floor so uh, the idea was to share the building everyone with his uh, different access through an inner courier and the idea was to construct this kind of geometries of uh, of elements that they were constructed one over the other ones no so uh we lost the, this competition but uh, seven years ago, we won this competition, that this competition was to construct, to construct the big headquarters of the CERN. The CERN is the center of the nuclear research that is in Switzerland. And you can imagine that for us, a little office of uh, five people in Barcelona, to won the competition uh, to control the, the particular accelerators of the European Union in Geneva was really, it was better than sex. So fantastic, no? So uh, the idea was uh, that we wanted to construct the big auditorium, the laboratories, and the building of the direction uh, surrounding this void, no? This is the third, this is the, the Geneva airport. And here was our building in the middle of this, uh, of this uh, particular accelerator, no? And this is the building we construct, no? You can see here some images of this. Uh, this is nine meters high cantilever, no? So you can imagine how expensive is to construct all these things. But Swiss people, they have a lot of money, a lot of money. So uh, we wanted them to construct a very special building with a GRC, it's a kind of reinforced fiber concrete. And you can see here the building uh, through the snow. I think it's fantastic the building through the snow because people we are not used to the snow uh, like we Catalan people in in a Mediterranean country. When I see my own buildings have plenty of snow, it was really a very magical moment, no? very magical moment. No? 
I think it's important you never lose the emotions because finally, if, if one thing arrives to your heart, uh, finally, do you remember always, no? Uh, it's a, This is the same with your boyfriends or girlfriends or with the buildings you know or the, or the books you read or the cities you visit, no? It's very important to arrive to the heart of the people, no? And some images that uh, they were published black and white in one special monography that was uh, paid by the third to commemorate that, no? Another item, the seventh item, uh, is the dealing with history. Because in Europe, of course, in, in England is the same. Uh, if you construct in the city very, very uh, often, you make more renewable buildings than not new buildings, no? So uh, when you construct uh, in the middle of the city, this is a project we lost in France to construct a Mediateca. A Mediateca is a complex with a cinema, theater, uh, bibliotheque, uh, library, and another things, no? So uh, it was integrated just in the middle of the Middle Age uh, area, no? It was, a, it was even a, one of the levels was for a music school, no? So we have to make the, the piano play that was much bigger with a special elevator because the piano could not use the normal elevator because it's too big, no? Uh, you can see here the different essay uh, rooms for violin, for guitar, for uh, uh, clarinet, for other places, no? You can see here the, the idea that we have that to cross the ancient Gothic walls through our building because our, our building was looking at the uh, integrating to the gothic walls no and at the same time the final square in the other side of the building no and here you can see the ori the original building of the 18th century and the propose uh, our proposal no with the big uh, window of the auditorium and the passage to cross through uh, one part of the city to the other one no that was some images integrate and the square was in the other side and the passage no of course we we employ a lot of time doing all these things a lot of time no but finally i'm totally sure that some of these ideas you will can recognize in our new buildings no? for example right now i have 16 restaurants to construct in the paseo de gracia in the middle in the middle of uh, barcelona and most of these ideas came from these competitions, no? This is the, the underground auditorium for, for the School of Music, no? This is one of my favorite buildings we have constructed in Barcelona. Uh, in, a, in a way, it has the same spirit of the, of the music school. It was an ancient building of uh, four stores high, and we have to make an addition. And I didn't want to construct an addition uh, uh, very similar to the original one, no? And it's a clinic, it's a clinic, uh, so all that, is, they are spaces for doctors, and all that is uh, the nurseries and the facilities, and underground there is two stores uh, down, two basements where they are the, the quirophanos, I don't know the English name, it's the place to surgery to make operations, no? To open the people, no? So uh, you can see here our 3D image and you can see here the building construct with this kind of uh, metal blocks, uh, metal iron box. And here you can see you can see other images of this uh, of this uh, house, no? You can recognize perfectly what was original, what is the piece we add. We, here is two stores high and this is just one. And of course, for me, it was very important to frames in the windows because that allows us to understand that everything is integrated with the same spirit, no? We make the design of all the waiting areas so with the señaletica, the signs of the different doctors, no? And this is an image I like very much by night, no? the image of uh, the clinic by clinic, Auribe Guma by night, and the different windows. No? This is the eight of 12 uh, items I wanted to talk to you. 
this is uh, sea metaphors, no? I remember once, uh, I say when I was a fish, I remember uh, in one period of, of my life, I was really impressed of what it will, means to live under the, uh, in the middle of the sea, no? So I wanted to, to integrate all these things in my buildings. And for example, I was invited to make a competition to, uh, to renewal all this uh, Caja Madrid building that is an office of a bank in the middle of the diagonal in Barcelona, no? All these plants, uh, it, it looked like a big aquarium with this kind of light, no? And our idea was take advantage of these images of sculptures hung up in the middle of, uh, this is a tower in Zaragoza for the Expo, the Water, uh, the water Expo in uh, 28, no? Or this um, Frank Gehry building in Berlin, when this element inside, no? Or even this, uh, these things we construct in the Illa Diagonal, there in Barcelona, with this kind of uh, light brighting with uh, curtains walls, a kind of falling water with uh, optic light, no? Or oh, the colors bamboos that we propose to these people to construct a piece to organize all the services inside the building. And uh, in the other side, you see all these pieces, there were fish, fish, the were uh, of this space, no? I propose to substitute all these uh, plants that they, for me was not so interesting, no? And to construct this kind of lamps uh, with these uh, with these uh, elements that looks like fish uh, swimming in, in the sea, no. Some images of uh, of the competition. Uh, it, it's funny because because in I was during eight years teacher in the University of Islamic and Oriental Architecture. And uh, there is a Islamic proverb I like very much that says that if you look uh, uh, one people to the eyes and you don't understand a glance, you never will understand a, a very long explanation, no? Uh, because it's, it's much more easy when you contact with the people to look to your eyes than not try to to prove to. And I remember the client was a German uh, a German uh, client, and when I was talking that we are fish, we came from the sea. He looks at me with the open eyes, very, very big, and I think he didn't understand anything at all, no? Of course, we lost the competition, no? Uh, we lost this other competition, too, in Lanzarote, in the Canary Island, in Spain. The idea was to, in using this original building, add two more floors and to construct a new facade. And, of course, the most interesting thing, because it was the archives, the museum, the offices. But for me, the most interesting here was to construct this kind of metal, metal uh, walls with little holes that using the light of the sun makes this kind of atmosphere, this kind of atmosphere like when you are making diving, diving in the sea, no? With the, with the bubbles of the, of the sun coming to the sea, no? I think it was very, very funny and very sympathetic and, and quite a cheap building, but finally nobody do anything, no? The ninth item I want to introduce you is the retail commercial areas, because uh, in the 19th century, uh, the cathedrals have been the, the train stations. In England, you have beautiful train stations in almost all the cities, no? In the 20th century, the, the main cathedrals, the main cathedrals has been has been always the football club stadiums, no? Uh, people go to the stadium to to make parties, to make uh, concerts, of course, for football players too, no? But probably right now, the big cathedrals of the 21st century is the retail areas, no? This is the Illa Diagonal in Barcelona that was constructed by Moneo and Sola Morales some images how it was inside the building before. And in, when the Illa was 15 years old, they make a competition uh, between uh, 10 architects that we won the competition. No? We proposed to join the both parts of the center. This is a quite long center because from here, from here till there is uh, 400 meters, no? 
So uh, we construct this kind of uh, connections through the street to connect both parts of the center. No, we propose to make the lines go in to one part to another one to make these metal uh, frames to all the columns of the building. No, some uh, ceiling had been painted in black to disappear them. And we, but, um, and this is just uh, pictures of the building uh, completely constructed, no? It's, it's very elegant. I mean, even uh, almost 18 years later, I continue thinking that is the most elegant commercial retail area in Barcelona. Of course, this piece is this white uh, marble and this uh, pink uh, rose uh, marble too. They were trying to substitute ancient pieces that were broken. So everything has uh, always reasons, no? So here you can see more plans, more details of the designs of the doors, the designs of the, of the bandos, designs of the ceilings. design of the lamps we design everything in the center no we've been three years designing a lot of things no and this is images of the building completely finished no this lamp um, this is a piece that is always 20 by 30 meters so this rectangle is 600 square meters it's very big because this is uh, 35 meters high so everything in la illa is enormous big no like this lamp suspended like this uh lighthouse that this element we design even the lamps we design everything in this retail area no we design a, a ceiling that is a kind of a sky with uh, clouds no so some clouds they are gray because it's gonna rain no and i explain all this metaphor to the clients and the clients they they were really astonished about uh we will have a really a ceiling that it's uh, exactly like a like a cloud no this is the image and of course after constructing this center we become in a way a very specialist to construct retail area centers no this is the biggest center in catalonia uh, in la junquera in the border with france we construct everything there This is the second phase with the extension. So we project it's going to be constructed in the next future. This is another retail area we are now designing uh, with a hotel, with uh, some lines in the middle of a city, with uh, with the offices in the in the in the corner. All that they are like fingers to the commercial retail area. And some of the first images that we propose for this area, no with the lamps and with the different uh, roofs. The third, the tenth uh, item is the earthwork inhabiting the landscape because uh, I like very much to construct buildings integrating to the land. No? So when, when you have a, a slope, uh, I think it's interesting to cross and take advantage of the slope to make different entrances. So this is a uh, competition we lost to construct that quite big uh, offices. Com you see here, for example, the, the 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 marble of the entrance go and define the facade of this kind of mountain. No. And this is another uh, another building very interesting because uh, we construct uh, the headquarters of the Mutua Madrileña. The Mutua Madrileña is a, a Spanish insurance company in the middle of Madrid, no? That for a Catalan people is like to go to Bernabeu and beat the Real Madrid uh, when the Barcelona's club was interesting, no? Not right now that is uh, making a, a awful, <laughs> awful much, no? But anyway. We propose to unify these two buildings with this uh, passerelle 
you see this passerelle, o sea, here is uh, the original buildings we found of the 70s. The idea we had to make uh, this kind of uh, open area and to make a land that goes up. Going up become a bridge and this bridge become this passerelle, no? So really it's a, it's a very nice passerelle because it's, a, it's an element that is 60 meters long and only they have four uh, points to support this passerelle, no? Because all is with hung it from these two arches in both facades, no? This is my house in Tamariu. Uh, it's a house integrated, you see, the, with the slope. Almost half of the house is underground, but at the same time allows me to construct this kind of uh, living area with the bedrooms that there is close to the close to the ground. And you have here the images. Here is where I used to spend the weekends and and sometimes in summer time because I used to travel a lot. You know? This is the house integrate. The interior in the interior we plant the trees we cut before to construct the house, like a kind of a homage to the gardens of the memory, no? And this is the house uh, by night in the twilight, in the twilight, no? Probably is one of the most elegant. Uh, allow myself to do everything, no? It was a very good client for me. The only problem is I have to pay it. Competition we've lost, of course in our next in France, that was a maternal uh, school, a kindergarten for little kids, no? Another school in Almeria, in the south of Spain. Dona, uh, the National International Fair in Istanbul. In Shanghai, we get a commission that finally was not constructed. The idea was to use the original structure of the Spanish pavilion to, to transform into a green screen with a lot of local plants. In Caracas, in Caracas, we, we were in the final four too to construct the big complex in the center, but in Caracas, in Venezuela, right now they have no money. So it was not possible to, to construct anything. Even the, the one that wants never construct anything, no? In Coimbra, in Coimbra, uh, in Portugal, we were one of the seven European teams uh, chosen to construct the science museum, no? And we wanted to construct this kind of uh, a glass tower, no? Because uh, in the memory, in the resume, I write that uh, that this building will become the new symbol of the old Coimbra, no? And uh, the jury said to me that Coimbra doesn't need more symbols. So, of course, we lost the competition, you know, but it's, it's very funny, no? I say, why Jean Nouvel can construct the, the Akbar Tower in Barcelona and become a symbol, and I want to construct, you know, Coimbra doesn't need no more symbols. Shit, again. Some images of, of, the, of the complex in Coimbra, no? In Argentina, too, in Córdoba, we make this... Uh, these uh, celeries and these restaurants. In Mexico, we make the extension of the Barragan House in the middle of the in the middle of uh, Tacubaya district. Offices in Catalonia. I could show you more than one hundred competitions that we have lost. And uh, except the ones in France, never we we've been paid. We make uh, one year ago this mountain project, I say, because it was a golf club in the, in the mountain. It was quite interesting how to integrate and use the construction like a retaining wall, no? a retaining wall of the, of, the, of the slope hill that is on the other side. No? That was the complex uh, with inner and outer outdoor swimming pools. 
And that was very interesting because that allows us to win this competition. This is a competition we won in the south of France to construct a housing complex using uh, an ancient building existing of, of the 50s and to create a thalassotherapy center. No? <coughs> this is some images of the of our proposal. We design even the, the interior images of the apartments, no? With the swimming pools inside, no? This is another building we have right now uh, submit to license in the south of France, no? The idea is to construct a new brasserie, a factory of uh, beer, uh, for a very well-known local beer that is called Cap Dona. The idea was to, to construct a kind of a flying carpet that was a, an image of the Pyrenees that they are in the other side, no? Here was a reinterpretation of the carpenter center of Le Corbusier with the ramps getting inside and going to the other side and with the four elements like the four strips of the Catalan flag, no? This is the plant. Some images and some images of the complex, no? The idea was to integrate in the in the landscape. So you can see here all this movement in a way is like the movement of the mountains you can see the other side. And uh, at the same time with these vegetal roofs, everything was completely integrated into the nature. And just to finish, uh, the thing I would like to transmit you is that uh, I like to think my my projects by hand, no? Uh, hand uh, a piece like in my house in Tamariu, stretch, stretch an element like in the clinic I showed you before, uh, make this solid glass like the veins, like the other building in Barcelona, playing with the land, playing with the aleatory uh, uh, movement of the of the electrons. So it's like a kind of random places like uh, we make the construction in the third node. But of course, always in a very, very simple way. I mean, uh, I don't like these architects that they think that to become an architect, they have to wear in black. They have to be bold, like Jean Nouvel. They want to speak in a very serious way because uh, architects we are. In Spain, we say a little joke that say, you know what is the difference between God and an architect? Is that God doesn't believe he is an architect, no? Because most of the architects, they think they are God. And sometimes this is a very stupid image we transmit to the to the people, to the society, no? And we have to understand that we are in the society just to serve them. Of course, take advantage of them and make our our work being useful to the people, uh, to our fellow people we live together, no? I think it's almost one hour, 10 minutes. The thing, Alexander, you asked me for my lecture. So if right now I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be out of this uh, thing. I'm gonna I think if you do that, it's okay. It's okay. So now, now you now you you, you can see me now. Not uh, stop presentation. I have to do the details the reunion. Tal. I don't want to present. What I have to do? The hard to present. Perfect. Now, now you see me. Okay. Okay.